Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To access and remove the carburetor, first close the fuel valve. Now use a 5 16 inch socket to remove the mounting screws, securing the air filter cover. Pull the cover and filter off. Place the choke lever in the choke position, then pull the lever up to remove. Next, detach the breather tube from the filter housing. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the mounting nuts securing the housing. Pull the housing off of the mounting posts and move it out of the way. Release the clamp securing the fuel line to the carburetor and pull the fuel line off. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. Remove the air filter housing gasket, then use an E5 external Torx bit to unthread the mounting post securing the carburetor. Detach the throttle linkage and spring to completely remove the carburetor. Reinstall or replace the carburetor by first connecting the throttle linkage and spring. Now insert the mounting post into the carburetor and slide on the spacer gaskets along with the spacer. Thread the mounting post into the intake manifold and tighten with the E5 external Torx bit. Attach the fuel line to the carburetor and secure it with the retaining clamp. Slide the air filter housing gasket onto the mounting posts. Realign the air filter housing. And replace the mounting nuts to secure. Reattach the breather tube to the filter housing. Make sure the choke shaft is in the choke position, then push the choke lever into place. Reposition the air filter and cover. Rethread the mounting screws to secure. With the procedure completed, reopen the fuel valve. To replace the on-off switch, first mark the hole where the governor spring is connected to the arm. Then disconnect the spring. Now use a 10 mm socket to remove the bolts securing the switch bracket.
and pull the bracket and shield free. Disconnect the wires from the on-off switch. And depress the tabs to release the switch from the bracket. Reinstall or replace the on-off switch by inserting it into the bracket until it snaps into place. Connect the wires to the terminals. Confirm that the bracket shield is properly aligned on the engine housing. Reposition the bracket. Align the grounding wire and replace the bolts to secure. Reconnect the governor spring to the appropriate hole in the arm. To access and replace the ignition coil on the engine, first remove the air filter housing from the mounting posts. Next, use the 10 mm socket to remove the bolts securing the right side of the starter housing. Loosen the bolt and nut on the left side to allow the plastic shield to be removed. Use the E5 external Torx bit to unthread the mounting stud. Now loosen the carburetor mounting posts. Pull the carburetor forward to give yourself enough room to remove the starter housing. Disconnect the ignition coil wire. Confirm that the flywheel magnets are rotated out of the way. Then use a 932nd inch socket to remove the mounting screws, securing the ignition coil. Pull the coil free. Reinstall or replace the ignition coil by aligning it on the engine. Then thread the mounting screws loosely. Now pull the coil back and tighten the screws. Insert a business card between the coil and flywheel, then rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Loosen the screws to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the screws and remove the card. Connect the wire to the coil. Now reposition the starter housing. Push the carburetor back and tighten the mounting posts. Rethread the mounting stud. Reposition the plastic shield and tighten the nut and bolt to secure. Replace the bolts to secure the right side of the starter housing. Replace the air filter housing along with the air filter and cover.
With the engine fully reassembled, attach the wire and boot to the spark plug, and the engine should be ready for use.